hey Grant, it's sometimes it's easier for me just to do a video. So I figured I would send a video about suppliers and for anybody that's interested in supply chain. So the deal is this, is that the supplier is a double-edged sword and it's really uh, based on your sales volume and how much revenue you're bringing to the supply chain. So um, this is why in many instances, and I know you're not a franchise, but in many cases where you have a franchise model, which I'm not either, um, they require like five stores. Um, they require a lot of locations. And the reason for that is because the suppliers, the warehouse space that they allocate to you is very valuable. And then they have the um, all of the other expenses, the drivers, the trucks, the gas, the mileage, all that that goes on top of it, including the warehouse space and the administrative costs. So it's, it's, it's expensive for them too. But typically, um, and I've had contracts with U.S. Foods, with Cisco, with uh, a lot of different um, venues. Uh, a lot, I mean, Southwest Traders, Shamrock, Labatt, um, you name it. We've had agreements with them. The, the trick is this, is that uh, the way that I look at the suppliers uh, is two parts. Number one is the actual contract you have with the supplier. Um, our contract, um, we uh, sign for our locations what's called an MDA, which is a master distribution agreement. And what that contract does, and they all do it, US Foods does it, Cisco does it, um, Labatt does it, Southwest Trader says that they, you can sign a contract, which is called an MDA. What that does is it gives you a fixed margin schedule and incentives or rebates based on what your sales volume is, based on what the average drop ship is, based on what, um, uh, how you pay on time, all of these different things. <clears throat> so that's the first step. So once you have a master distribution agreement, um, you want to, uh, speaking of the, the margins, you want to look at the work that you're doing. So if you're bringing, if you, if you're bringing in your own cups, your own, your own logo items, and you're doing the heavy lifting on those items, you shouldn't have to pay a premium on those. So, because that's negotiable. So the first part is your MDA. Our MDA, um, is a standard margin plus 12 and a half percent. And then um, on proprietary items that I negotiate, the margin is zero, which means they don't get any markup, um, but as high as 5%. So some examples of that. So once I have the master distribution agreement, then I go to each individual supplier, org and ice cream for yogurt, Patagonia fruit for fruit, dart or wind cup for cups, all of our special ingredients, and I beat them up. So I have my MDA and then I go and I beat up all my my other vendors. And so in the case of yogurts and things like that, I know I buy 40,000 pounds. So what I do is I, I bid on different vendors for 40,000 pounds of yogurt. And then once I get that contract, what's called a deviated pricing agreement, then I ship that agreement to my supplier and I said, these are the terms um, and then they mark it up 5% and life is good. In the case of my cups like Dart and Wincup, the margin percentage is zero. So the distributor doesn't get any markup for selling those items. So if whatever price that I negotiate, which is, whether it's five or six cents a cup, the, the distributor distributes to that me to that and no additional incentives. In addition to that, um, I also pay all of my distribution uh, uh, contracts on a credit card if they let you do that. That gives me an additional 2% cash back on my Capital One card. So I think right now on Capital One in the last few months, we have $9,000 in just cash credit that we're getting on that. So it's all the back end money you're fighting for. So the short answer, it's a two step process. The first one is your MDA. The second one is negotiating with each one of your vendors independently and then shipping those contracts to your 
uh, your distributor. So I hope that helps. I'd love to jump on a call with you sometime, but that is distribution 101 as you're starting to grow your business. Peace.